My name is Patrick Gaffney. I'm a director at Collins Earthworks and Envirotrack Limited. Uh, we're currently in Ellis Town on a 370,000 square metre site. Uh, the site is a uh, proposed uh, development. There's three distribution centres going on there, the biggest being a million square foot. We're using that 3D system to control uh, the layers of fill that we're replacing at the moment. Maximum 22 number layers, averaging 14 across the site. It's paramount that these layers are brought up in the, as per specification, which is 250 mil. The film material itself is being treated as we go along. It's been ameliorated with lime, which um, optimizes or gets your optimum moisture content correct. The fill then can be placed to its 90 to 100% compaction. The final layer is treated with cement. There'll be zero fill going to any landfill sites, so or zero material. Um, it's a balanced cotton fill. Um, this is beneficial, obviously, for cost of the client, along with the uh, carbon footprint of the site. Minimal amount of aggregates brought in and minimal amount of uh, material taken off site. Using existing surveys and surveys we've produced using our own engineers, uh, we've been able to produce the construction model to the design levels, one is compared to the other. It's found that sort of value engineering that certain buildings and certain areas of the site gradients can be raised, drop lowered, obviously to balance it in the initial period. This allows the client then to put in the most competitive uh, tender value on the project. On the 3D system, it allows every machine operator working on the six number dozers, three number excavators that we've got here working on site with the system, it allows them to bring the control into their cab. Literally, no matter where they sort of position themselves on the site, they've got the control, they put it into the automatic system and the blade will trim to the correct or design levels. Traditionally in the past, we would have put profiles in, there would have been a lot of hands-on approach. We did use the old 2D system for years, we're setting up a laser every morning. This allows, uh, with the GPS system, as soon as the uh, operator switches on his machine in the morning, he's able to go straight to work. A uh, site of this size in the past, we probably would have used three to four setting out engineers to control all the plant we've got here at the moment. So far, we've been four weeks on site. The total number of weeks on site, uh, this project's about 22. Uh, using traditional systems, we were looking at 25, 26. The control that we're able to sort of implement into each one of them machines, um, it gives us sort of like sub decimeter tolerances. We're down to sort of plus or minus 10 mil. 10 mil across this uh, 100,000 square meters equates to 1,000 cube. It's a lot of stone to import. We definitely wouldn't take on a project like this without using this 3D system. Um, the system that we have got is giving us a competitor's edge.